What's going on everyone? Welcome to your 24th tutorial in Python and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about um, something that's going to help you compare. Um, it's a little different than the last time unlike operate. Just pay attention. You'll learn something. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is besides the numbers you can also compare strings of words. And when you compare these they're compared in alphabetical order. So let's go ahead and write um, dog is less than cat. And as you can see, it comes out false because the word dog comes after cat in the alphabet and it's not less than. So that is um, going to come in handy later on and it's a whole other world when you can compare strings of text instead of uh, just plain old numbers. And the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is something called an and and an or. Now last time I told you guys if you have an if statement right here and you want to check that decision and make another decision you can write an if statement inside it like right here but there's an easier way to check two if two conditions are true at once and that's to use a keyword called and and what and does is check if both conditions are met so let me just show you guys real quick um, let's get an example variable and I'll make it equal to the string actually it might as well just make it equal to number five now we have a variable example equal to number five so if you want to check if example is let's put it if example is less than three and then we say we want to check that and in the last tour I showed you guys if you want to check it again just write if example is greater than ten which uh, I guess less than three greater than ten that wouldn't make sense so that was how you would do two decisions on the same variable but let's go ahead and let me show you how to make two or just make it compact kind of if example is greater than three so any number greater than three and example is less than ten then we can print um, number is between three and ten so that is how we can use um, two different tests in the same line of code and this helps um, nesting if statements in certain cases so this example will only print if this condition is met and this condition is met if one of these tests fail then this will never um, go so let's go ahead and press enter and it says number is between three and ten so what if we had one of those test conditions that were false but one was true so let's go ahead and write if example is greater than three which is true and example is less than four which is false let me show you guys what would happen print um, x as you can see nothing prints and this is because if only one test condition is true in the end the piece of code doesn't get printed now let's say you wanted a way to not only have both contest test conditions have to be true for you to print but one only one of the test conditions had to be true in order to output the statement so let's go ahead and do that and you do this using instead of and you use the or keyword so let's go ahead and write if example is greater than three or example is less than four let's go ahead and print uh... this works so in the or keyword unlike the and only one of these has to be true for this to print right here or this code to be executed so let's go ahead and press enter and it says this works now if both of these were false just like the and nothing would get printed but what happens if you use an or and only one of them has to be true but both of them are true well let's see if I think I'm gonna sneeze soon <coughs> oh lordy bless me bless me anyways back to basics if example is greater than three or example is less than ten which is true and I use the semicolon instead of, of colon if so let's do that one more time and that also teaches you guys never use semicolons when you should use colons if example is greater than three or example is less than ten colon what are we going to print print 
k now. So in this in this excuse me case, both of these test conditions are true, but we're using an or statement where only one of them has to be true. So what's it do? It prints it out hey now. And again, just to recap one last time, an and when you use an and, both the tests have to be true on either side for the code to execute. When you use an or, this one has to be true, this one has to be true, or both of them can be true, and then your code is executed. And in both cases, an and if either one of these are false, or an or if either if both of these are false, then it never gets executed. So that's your basics on um, I don't know. I guess they're called and or ors or something like that. And also um, comparing strings. So um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be going over loops. But learn this tutorial. Learn how to use the and and or, and also how to compare strings. Maybe you do these tests with strings or something. And uh, once you got this down, the basics of this, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I guess I'll see you then.